Does the 2019 MacBook Pro still have an errant keyboard problem? Let's go ahead and look at what's changed and find out. What's going on everyone? It is Andrew here from Apple Insider and we have the latest 2019 MacBook Pros. One of the first questions on everyone's mind is will these keyboards be more reliable than their 2018 counterparts? So we're gonna go ahead, break it down for you and find out as best we can Will they be more reliable? So we have two computers here, the last generation and the new generation. Let's go ahead and compare how they type, sound, and feel. Let's give that one more listen. Now the new MacBook Pro does sound a little bit lower in pitch in comparison to our MacBook Air, but it's a much larger, denser machine. Really there's not much changed in how they sound or how they feel while typing. They are maybe perhaps a slight bit softer when actually clicking, but they have the same throw, same feel, same everything that you'd come to expect from Apple's butterfly keyboards. If you were comfortable typing on them before, you'll still be comfortable typing on them now. So if they look, feel, and type the same, what has changed? iFixit dug in and disassembled a new MacBook Pro to find out what exactly Apple updated. Here you can see the butterfly switch through the ages, the original incarnation to the silicone membrane that they added with the 2018 MacBook Pros and MacBook Airs to the most recent version, which looks just slightly different. There are two main parts that changed with the 2019 MacBook Pros. The first being the dome switch. This is a small piece of metal that actually gives you that clicking feeling under the keys, and it now has a slightly different finish, which could just be attributed to changing manufacturers or a new heat process, but hopefully it should last longer. But we really don't know for certain what this change will impact. The second change is this membrane here. On the left, which is from last generation, it is semi-opaque, slightly tacky, and feels very much like silicone. The new one on the right is now more translucent, and it is not as tacky as the one before. It is actually a nylon material rather than something like silicone. This could help keep debris out by not being as tacky and sticky. Perhaps debris was getting in there, getting stuck to that more easily. We don't know for sure, this is pure speculation, but those are the two changes that are in the updated third generation butterfly keyboard found on the new MacBook Pros. Unfortunately, we don't know with certainty one way or the other if these changes will improve reliability as Apple says. We can say that it feels, sounds, and types the same way as it did in the past. Apple did expand their repair program for previously affected models to now include the 2018 MacBook Pros as well as the 2018 MacBook Air. So if you do have a machine that was impacted, which from our research is an extremely small number, Apple has you covered, and we hope we don't see the same problems with the new MacBook Pros, but let us know down below in the comments if you think the new keyboards will still be problematic, or shout at me on Twitter at Andrew underscore OSU. Hey everyone, did you guys like that video? Be sure to click on that like button so we can create content that we know that you guys want to see. And follow Apple Insider on all social media channels. If you want the best prices on any Apple gear, check out the Apple Insider price guide that is updated daily. And until next time, we'll see you later.